Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from Carway. I'm sat in the new Land Rover Defender and behind me is a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and we're gonna have a tug of war. So this car has a two litre turbocharged diesel engine with 240 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque. It's got an eight speed automatic gearbox. It's got a low range mode. I'll be running it in low range, obviously. It's got a central locking diff, which is electronically controlled, and essentially the car figures out what it needs to do for maximum traction. There's various off-road programs that you can cycle through, such as grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, sand, rock crawl, that kind of stuff. But I'm just gonna put it into auto mode and let the computers figure everything out because it does a really good job. That Jeep is not quite so high tech in terms of electronics but it does have the benefit of low range gearbox lockable differentials front and back you can also decouple its anti-roll bars that won't help it today and what won't help it either is that it's got a weight disadvantage because it's lighter it's two tons this is 2.4 tons however that jeep does punch back with the fact that it's got a two litre turbocharged petrol engine with 270 horsepower that has a bit less pulling power than this it's got 400 newton meters of torque it does have knobbly tires though because it's the rubicon which could help when digging into this muddy grassy area here that we're going to be doing the tug of war on but we'll find out i'm going to just put this into auto let it do its thing ease on the power and hopefully do one over that jeep and really annoy our american viewers Anyway, before we get into that, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you will not miss a single upload. Anyway, let's get on with a tug of war. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Right then, let's do this tug of war. Let's take up the strain, Jeep. I'm going to count it in now. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Land Rover, use your Land Rover skills. Oh God, this is humiliating. Oh. All right, stop, you won, you won. Jeep won that. I wasn't expecting it. The electronics on this are normally awesome. Okay, put your Jeep into neutral. And I'm gonna pull you forward a bit, see what it feels like. Right. I want another go. I'm going to put this car now into a different program. I'm going to go into mud and ruts. Maybe this will help me. Okay, GP, you ready? We're going to give it another go. Ready? Take the strain. Three, two, one, go. Come on, don't slip. Come on, Land Rover. No. No. Come on. It's not such a whitewash this time. Oh gosh. Oh no. Right, start, start, stop, I give in. Tapping out, I'm tapping out. That is a clear victory for the Jeep. Oh, I've let Great Britain down. Or the Americans are going, party, party. Damn it. Maybe I can pull one back for Europe. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. With a German off-roader. Okay, now I've jumped into a Mercedes G350D. Let's see if this can do any better. I think that Jeep's really benefiting from its knobbly tires. This doesn't have them just like the Land Rover, so a bit of a disadvantage, though this could pull it back because it's even heavier than the Land Rover. It's 2.5 tonnes. It's also got more power. It's got a 2.9 litre straight six diesel with 286 horsepower and 600 newton meters. Also, it's got front, middle and rear diffs, evens things up with that Jeep rather than just the central electronic diff of that Land Rover, but 
it's got stability control off now, so no traction, whereas that Land Rover used its traction to stop itself being pulled back too quickly, but it just didn't do the job in the end, did it? Let's see if this can. Okay, are you ready, Jeep? Do you wanna take the strain? Okay, here we go, I'm gonna count it in. Three, two, one, go. Come on, G. I've got it, I've got it. Oh, yes. I'm gonna keep on going. Oh dear, look at the going to the cone. Oh, poor Jeep. Oh, poor cone as well. G350D for the win. I'm gonna make it all the way off of here. And now we'll play the German national anthem. So then what exactly happened? Well, when all the Land Rover's off-road settings were in automatic mode, it got absolutely smashed by the Jeep. It did a better job with its electronics in mud and ruts mode though, but the Jeep's old-fashioned knobbly tyres still gave it the edge. And that car won the second tug of war. Although it wasn't such a clear victory that time. In the final tug of war, the Jeep faced up to the Mercedes. Both cars had all their diff locks on, but the Mercedes still managed to win, even though it only had normal road tyres, just like the Land Rover. So, third place goes to the Land Rover, second place goes to the Jeep, and first place and winner of the tug of war is the Mercedes. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Also, let me know of any other videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.